Hey guys, just again. So, another video. I've gotten, this time, been invited to a tournament. I think first it's like Ghost Dark Prediction Girl, or like three boxes, something along those lines. It's at Recollect in Chester. Uh, check them out, I'll put the links down below. Uh, if you're in the area, check them out. And yeah, I'm um, playing Platinum again. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything else in time, but hopefully it goes well. On to round one. Okay, so going into game one of the tournament, um, I ended up losing the dice roll, however, my opponent set some passes. So we both seem to have a bit of like a bricky hand trap based hand. So we go into this quite slick grind game where my opponent is always trying to like use quick launch or something like that, and then I'm chaining Ash. And eventually you get into this grind game where I see a little bit of engine, I get hand trap, so I can't go for full combo, but I also go glamour, so I move down, get access to my loci, get nibbed, use the effect of Princess in the Gate. And do a little bit of a combo, so I'm at least then able to end on Bengal Answer. Get some searches, so I end up searching for next turn. I go for Bengal Answer, Dryas, and then my opponent ends up conceding the game, having no resources. So then we go into game two. Uh, game two, my opponent starts with Norseman Safer, sending from hand, and I do have draw. So my opponent ends up going for Sears Pass, and unfortunately, my hand really isn't very good. I then just start with Sewing, which gets Ashed. I end up talenting and still can't play. So my opponent then just goes for attempting to get into advantage. I end up using my set sheet to stop the rebellion, getting the trap. And then my opponent makes a little of it, goes for ravine, I fix ravine, sends, gets rocket tracer, summons the rocket tracer, but now it's gone through the recharger, so can't make any big plays. Goes for the link three and passes. I end up trying to play, but my low guy unfortunately gets Book of Boon. My hand at this point, I believe, is another talent and thrust, so I'm just trying to bait out monster effects here. So spreading some of the twin here, my opponent does reborn Magma and use the effect, which means both my talent tactics are live. So I'm able to use my tactics to search like Storm, I have all the back row, so I only have to do with spheres. And now that I've drawn unexpected die off the talents, I'm able to go for a full combo or attempt to go for a full combo through spheres. My opponent is holding the spheres to try and prevent me from going some big late game things. But my two draws off the talents were Mudan plus Princess. So I'm able to provide a gate for that, like no matter what. And then eventually I just need to piece, piece apart my opponent's board and end up going for an OTK. So you can see here I'm going for a Melius line. Making Thrasher, make Thrasher big, go for Bengalancer, and then attack the game. Okay, so that was round one. I just played against Dragon Link. Yeah, you kind of see how it happened. Bricks. All the bricks. All of this, like, twins, the locais, all in hand. No wreckers. But talents grind, drawing four cards, getting to the thrust, searching the, <laughs> searching the negate for the follow-up. That's how you win those matches. All right, so round two, going to game one. Um, I end up starting with Unexpected Die, and I get Ogred on my Dryas. Unfortunately, I have no other engine cards. I attempt to use Sewing, gets Ash, and I have to pass. My opponent summons a Scarecrow monster, searches Twinsaw, Field Spell, grabs another monster for Grind Game, and then ends up passing on just the Twinsaw Trap set. I end up starting with my Dryas combo, do a couple of plays. I've got Sewing Graveyard Protection, which is really good against Twinsaw. End up going for my Liboria play. My opponent does then pop the Liboria, by hard open the Regulus, so I'm still able to summon the Regulus. Goes to battle phase, gets some damage in, then pass. My opponent just chooses to pass turn here because he can't do any full combos through the Regulus. And we get back to my turn, I have the Lily Boreal Hand as follow up already, which I searched last turn, and I'm able to just summon a few monsters and attack the game. Okay, so going into game two, I'm going second this time. My opponent starts off with Fenrir, goes into their Scarecrow plays, end up using Imperm. But my opponent does end up having multiple extenders anyway, especially with Fenrir being able to search the Scarehawk second level seven. My opponent ends up searching the trap, setting two cards, and passing. I attempt to play with sewing, because unfortunately, a bit of a swap to my hand again. And I get met with a deck of one This card is absolute pain for this deck. However, I'm able to try and stall out a little bit using Sheet and using Tikaboo to then send my opponent's monster to Graveyard. But unfortunately, my person really extended to push through, and I end up losing the game. Okay, so going to game three here, and I'm going first. I end up starting with an expected die, special summoning Loki, and then going Loki into Dryas and searching sewing. I do not get drawled, so I'm able to special summon Princess, then special summon Mudan. And now, I, although I get Ash on the Mudan, my combo is now fully protected, and I don't bother because I don't negate with Princess. So my hand 
contains a bunch of plants. I'm able to just push through, push all my hand, push my plants onto the board, and then gain certain advantage like plant does. So I end up going for the Regulus. I have a Mudan there. Because I use my Mudan and Princess early, I end up having to do a bit of a different combo line using Sylvan and then using that as a level manipulation. I didn't need to hit here, but luckily I did. So I'm able to end a little bit more. I end up making Teardrop passing. My opponent is going to try play, but unfortunately, just an acro isn't enough. Okay, so that was round two. Yeah, so I got paired down. Uh, been pure Scarecrow. What's this Scarecrow? It seems kind of interesting because it's like it can flag it out some decks like Hash, but for me, it wasn't that much of an issue. Game two, however, that break was horrific. We made do. We managed. Tikaboo is also a bit of a problematic card, and I didn't expect Tikaboo. So I didn't side in the Aura Scorpio to search, but I couldn't play anyway, so it's fine. So anyway, on to the next round. Hopefully, it's a little bit more back and like back and forth with not bricks, and it's not just a bar game. But we'll see. Okay, so we're going to game three, or rather round three, and we're against this Rescue A Super Heavy list. It's not like these decks are starting to take off a little bit. So I start with my Loki. Start with Early Boria, Grab Regulus. Go for a little bit of a different combo this time, because I believe I've got some garnets in my hand. And I'm going to Mudan. My opponent doesn't seem to have a hand trap, so I'm able to just get a bunch of resources out. I go for Dance. Luckily, I managed to hit two with Dance. This wasn't necessary. I was merely doing it for the level manipulation effect. However, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I end up summoning the Hyper with Strena from the Dance. I'm able to amass full negate board with four cards, like three or four cards, four cards in hand. And my only no rescue, so my opponent reveals the deck. I negate, and my opponent scoops it up. Okay, so going into game two, my opponent ends up starting. Starting with the rescue cards, getting a searching alert, or an emergency. Going doesn't have super heavy summer engine this time. So going for the turbulence play, setting four, and then using the reborn effect of Renta, trying to make an apple. So I have imperm the entire time, but because I also have the hobbies for the duster, I don't use the imperm on the turbulence, and I just let my opponent play into duster. Then turn two, after I just dust it, I can just imp the apple and I only have to play through Book of Moon. Because I haven't expected to die, I can just normal swim and petal. Okay, access to the Mudan. And then I can, and because I already have the sewing in hand, because I've hard drawn it, I don't need to try and mess around. I can just let my opponent Book of Moon the Frenter, and then full combo and OZK. Okay, so that was round three. Play the Express Race. Uh, Tom here. Or oh, Slippy, I don't know what you go by anymore. Um, so yeah, play the Express Race. <laughs> <laughs> one of my moderators. Um, so we went, what? One game, one full combo. You did not have any hand traps or full breakers? No. Well, I had a talent. Tal yeah, talent isn't enough. Yeah. Not against full time board. And then I also, you didn't scoop because I knew what you were on anyway. Yeah. Because I kind of helped build the deck. Anyway. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a, a little bit. Okay. So then game two, I did. I had imperm. I didn't bother interrupting you yeah. because there was no wood house. I didn't see any of the super heavy stuff, and I I could only really just rescue Ace Combo. Yeah, and then I had I opened I had opened Duster imperm, and there's nothing like you had Ash Droll, but I just I played I didn't negate the Droll. It just went Thrasher ATK, and that was it. Yep. So hopefully, like your, I mean this then has top eight cut because of the prizing flag system. It's a bit of a weird format, but honestly, it works because yeah. it's because of the prizing is split top eight. Let's or go. So it's split down top eight, so it's top eight better. So I'm locked for cut. You in the next round to lock for cut, I think. Probably, yeah. But I think there's only one more assist, and then we're we'll going to top cut. So hopefully, next round goes well. All right. So going into round three, I'm against Randy Kamira. I end up starting. My dry ascends are getting mourned. I move them. My move gets impermed. And fortunately, I still have the loci, so I'm slow to start comboing. I do have the twin in hand, so I can't summon twin and do a full full combo. However, I'm able to utilize that twin later on in hand. I just go through a bunch of different combo routes. So I end up going for my Lily Boria. Get, so I'm able to get, although I'm locked into plants already, I'm able to get my regulars for follow up. And then there's loads of additional plays I just end up doing here. I end up going for Bang Lancer, end up level manipulating. So I'm able to end up with a full combo through two hand traps, which I think I'm quite proud of. I do make one slight mistake here is I end on the Dryas, where I do that now, get double Book of Moon. I could have kept a Ricker on field instead of a Dryas. So I was able, so I could play around double book of moon. However, I wasn't really thinking about that. Also, against Chimera, they can't necessarily push through my resources, especially since they have three engine cards in hand for the grind game. So I think no matter what, with two cards, I win this game no matter what, even if there was double book of moon. And then we see my print scoops. Okay, going into second game. I'm going second this time. 
So my opponent ends up doing their Chimera combo, starts with Mirror Knight, summons, searches two, entering for their standard line, no branded fusion this time, ends up getting a bunch of hand resources, setting two and passing. So I end up opening my opponent's standard phase, summons from deck, gets more resources, and I use Lightning Storm. My attempt here is just I want to get rid of the back row, because I know in engine, I can beat the Chimera engine and just go through OTK. My aim here, because my opponent has, I think, six or seven cards in hand at this point, is just to go for the OTK. My opponent did second fusion, so my talents, I ripped from hand, I want to make sure there's no more hand traps. There isn't, so I know I'm only playing around a Mirror Knight. My opponent does go for the effect of Mir Mirror Knight to negate my Dryas, but luckily, I have Snowdrop and another Loki, so I'm able to continue to do full combo. So I end up having to think a little bit here, because I'm looking for a line just to be able to go for an OTK, without having to worry about the graveyard effect, banishing to summon back a, ma a monster that's immune my battle. I do end up figuring out a line, because I've gone through my Dryas, I couldn't go for a regular Thrasher line. So I end up linking off said Dryas, then reborning it with my Twinning Graveyard, so I'm able to still make the full Thrasher line, going for the Dance, the Dance hit doesn't matter, reborning back Dryas, and then going for Thrasher OTK line with protection from my Princess to negate any graveyard effects of the monsters reborned by the Fusion. We can see my opponent's just kind of double-checking, thinking here, and then I end up going for the full OTK, and have Teardrop to tribute anything my opponent attempts to summon. Okay, so that was round four. I think I'm going to top cut now. It is top eight cut, I think, because, because, because it's top eight prizing, they're doing top eight cut, which is a different system to normal, but it's fine. Um, so first up Swiss, four round. The Chimera match, I'm, so I took a bit of a while to think of that last match, and then I just like, once I got the line, I kind of sped through it. But I'm so really, really proud of that OTK line. Because I couldn't do the regular OTK because she just used Grave Effect to reborn. I went back to Princess, but I'm like, yeah, I can just treat off with Teardrop with the line I went for. So I'm actually really proud of being able to find that because I wasn't sure there was a way. And then I found, I realized, because I got through the first Dryas, then I realized, wait, I've got the second Dryas. In, I've got the Dryas in Grave anyway, so to get second character attack from Twin. So I'm really proud to find that. Anyway, so going to top eight. Um, hopefully I'm not first in Swiss and lose to top eight again. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going into the first round of Top Cut, Top 8, and I'm against Branded. I end up losing the dice roll, my opponent's able to go Branded opening, go into Alaba, search Friday Fusion, and able to do, I say, I guess, your standard good stuff Branded combo that everyone loves and enjoys. I don't need opening hand traps to stop this, so my opponent ends on Mirror Jade Quam, two set cards, and searches a Branded Fusion for next turn. I start with Loki because my hand here is full of plants. I believe I have two Glamour, Princess, Tactics and a 1-for-1 one one in hand right now. So my aim here is to bait out as many effects as possible and just then 1-for-1 one one or Tactics and just blow my opponent out. So it was a little bit of a mistake there by opponent, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Let take it back. I ended up going using this 1-for-1, one one, using that as extender. I'd use my Tactics, obviously, to take the Mirror Jade, which then turns off the Merc Warrior in my opponent's hand, which then allows me to essentially full combo uninterrupted. The set card in the middle column doesn't get used during this combo, so it's still an unknown card right now. To get rid of the Mirror Jade and to make sure I have a record field for protection, I overlay with the Mirror Jade into a teardrop, and then able to safely full combo, end up going for a Thrasher DK line, and I win. Okay, so going to game two, my opponent ends up starting. Sets two and passes. Kind of the branded story sometimes. So I am starting attempting to play, but unfortunately, I get impermed. I still I have some extenders. I hard draw the sewing, but I do get super bodied on my dryas plus my healer. So I'm unable to gain life points and then trigger the jasmine. So I do end up passing turn here. My opponent summons Mirajade with the Albaz, summons Cartesia, attacks, and then end phase two makes their guy dark and fusion summons. I have to send, which I do. I believe I ash blossom. End phase, I summon back my petal, which resolves. My opponent then uses the effect of Albion Grave, or the Albion, sorry, I negate, and then I start with Sewing Movies 2. Sorry, game my turn, I start with Sewing, gets banished, and I'm able to thrust for Glamour. My opponent can't fuse with the Rimbrum Albion Grave into anything with just the petal, so I'm able to get Mudan. I'm able to summon Mudan, get my Concom. This means I'd have a sheet set up. Sheet means that I'm not going to die, and means that my grind game is so much better because Mirror Jade can't interact with it. My opponent then, I do pass turn, my opponent makes fusion, I take control, 
Mirror Jade then destroys... My opponent chooses to Mirror Jade destroy the monster. Get this under the kit. I do have the negate for that. And then we go into turn, like, the last turn. Now I've got my Petal Reborn. I've got my Concord set from deck. I've got my Glamour. I get into all my resources. It does then top deck Brand Infusion, but I have the negate for Lebellion. I've got the Princess. And then next turn, I can just overwhelm plant resources and win the game. Okay, so that was top eight. Played against Branded. I mean, it was a bit of a slow grind, but and my opponent didn't make it quite nervous, made a few mistakes, but it happens to everyone. And yeah, and taking it too well. Not much to say about that match, to be honest. It was very just kind of straightforward. Um, a bit back and forth. Tactics in the grind game is really good. I, I opened double sewing though, and double sewing really does kind of hinder your grind game because I couldn't go for like thrash roof to kill early and I had to kind of keep like or by searching to die with the thrust. I had to so glamour, keep going the grind game a bit. But in stop four, like I don't wanna I didn't wanna go first after Swiss and then drop in top eight immediately. So we've done what we need to do. On to top four. Okay, so going into game one of top four. Uh, my opponent does start off with Rakaoshi. I try and hit the bank here at the Ash, but unfortunately, my opponent does have the bike anyway. I was able to do a full combo, going for Entis, swimming from hand. I end up getting Tactus hand ripped, and I end up scooping because there's nothing I can do. Okay, so going into game two here, I end up going first. I end up starting off with my low height combo, and I end up drawing Lone Flyer, shooting off the Lily Boria, getting my Regulus. I start doing my full combo, and my opponent does activate Nibiru. I use Regulus to send itself to protect from Impa. Tactics rip the, rip the hand, and I able to summon the Borea again by equipping the Regulus because I didn't summon it using the effect first time. I'm able to do pseudo full combo, and on few, like, still does miss. Still able to end on Sheets, Shrena, Regulus, and I know my hand is able to easily play through their hand and win. Okay, so going to game three, my opponent again starts with the Kaoshi. Uh, this time, however, he normal summons to search. I have Troll. My hand gets looked at, I still have the Imperm, so my opponent now knows about the Imperm, and takes out my one main engine starter, which is my Lone Fire. He ends up attempting to then play through the Imperm, and play around it by not going for Turbulence, and that ends up backfiring because he forgets to draw, and then ends up having to pass prematurely. I still like evenly, I even need the ball to end on Hydrant, and, but unfortunately, I also don't have enough engine, so I just add for next turn and pass. I Imperm the Hydrant, my opponent doesn't have any of the plays, summons Regulus, passes, I top deck, I have Sony in hand from last turn, I top deck the Regaki, use that to bait the interrupt, and then I can just go for a full combo. I know what my opponent's hand is, I know nothing to worry about, or I know that it's a, a not a live card at least. Real YouTube are my heritage. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're back, we're keeping that in. Um, we just like top 8 against Tom again. Um, right. <laughs> there were a couple of misplays, but I ended up taking it. A couple. Um, you, a couple. So I, we learned that when you're com when you're doing rescue combo, you should summon Fenrir first. It, it does happen. Not trying. Not. I mean, let's just. You could have at least said you were trying to wait for Pendulum to summon it. Uh, why would I wait? <laughs> yeah, but you could make that excuse. The, oh, I didn't misplay. I was holding it for. No, no, no. Something. I misplayed. I misplayed. But yeah, my hand was like constantly. My hand was a bit weak. However, able to push through a little bit. Trying to hydrant under draw is pretty rough as well. Everyone makes mistakes, especially when like you're terrified as you were. Oh yeah, true, true. Petrified. Okay, Petrified. So, uh, the other top four matches currently going on. It's Kim Branded Chimera against Tailament, I think. Yeah. So I'm playing against a winner of that, and winner gets the Ghost DMG or three boxes, I think. So wish you luck. Yeah. Okay, so now we're in the finals. Um, winner takes the th I think it's three boxes or Ghost Drop Edition girl. So I end up losing nitro, and my draw. Immediately gets cross outed. This is the only hand I had. Got cross outed, so I get full comboed. I start, so I draft turn. I start with Princess. Stirring. Yeah, my opponent ends up having, I believe, two hand traps, as well, like, well, maybe three hand traps, along with full combo. I think it's three after the Chimera draws. And unfortunately, Plank can push, Plank can push through a fair amount, but it can't push through full Chimera combo, like with the Chimera draws and three hand traps. So I end up losing game one, and we go on to game two. Okay, so, we're going into game two, and this time I'm starting. So, I summon my Dryas, my sewing ends up getting ashed, 
But fortunately, I'm still able to go through lone, get into Lonefire and play, try and play through some hand traps. I go Petal for Mudan, end up summoning Dat Jasmine, summoning my Mudan, searching Concom, able to get to Sheet, and end up for Teardrop Sheet Pass. The other option here was to go for a Benglancer play, however, and end on Benglancer plus Mudan. However, I thought Teardrop would be a, bit, a little bit more valuable here. Unfortunately, I do end up getting Kaiju, which admittedly I wasn't playing around, and my opponent makes a little bit of a mistake and ends up not being able to use the additional material for the OTK tool here. So he doesn't quite get game. I think I end on 1900 or I think maybe 1500 life points instead of being killed. So then, follow up turn, I still have Concon Field, I special summon Princess, able to get to my Glamour, tribute monstrous cost, and then there's nothing my opponent can do to prevent the OTK. Even with the Chimera born from, most, from a new monster, I still win. Okay, so we're going to the third and the final game of this tournament. In this finals, I'm going second. My opponent starts with Brand Diffusion, able to resolve the full Mirror Knight combo, ending on the two set cards, the Rimbrum, the Mirror Knight, and the additional Chimera Fusion. Ends up going for effect to tribute, and luckily I do top deck the Ash Blossom. So my opening hand for this game was Mudan, double Princess, one of which got ripped out by the Chimera effect, and then double sewing. Opening double sewing is really, really unfortunate here. Because it means that in the grind game, I'm only able to get the extra sewing. That's it. So my low kai's and all, a lot of my engine is just dead going into the grind game. We go into a quite like a linear game state where my opponent ends up trying to Chimera Fusion, summoning Dracus Topalia to be able to get some grind game. And unfortunately, is because of the draw, cannot get the search from the right the level 5 and doesn't end up being able to get quite the grind game that he wanted. I'm still relying on Petal Effect though in Graveyard, and unfortunately... Drake's Topalia is pretty good at negating that. I end up using this last sewing in my hand, but because the dryas is negated, I can only make dance and dance doesn't resolve. We go into quite a beatdown grind game. Unfortunately, Drake's Topalia keeps negating my petal. And although I have two, like, I think leave two to three top decks, I end up drawing another Ash, Draw, and Sheet, which isn't an engine card, so I'm unable to push through the Drake's Topalia, and I end up losing this game. Currently in the background, we've got lots of the pack opening from the pricing, but unfortunately, I end up losing the finals after being versed in Swiss. However, it happens. Um, congrats to the opponent. It was a fun game. It was quite back and forth. Unfortunately, couldn't quite make it out in the grind game. So we can see, opening a couple of packs, I think I ended up with one and a half boxes of amazing defenders here. I do end up pulling, luckily, I end up pulling a Starlight. Look, Starlight. Um, collector's Rare <laughs> from this set. Uh, got some nice things this set. I think, what did I end up pulling? I ended up pulling, unfortunately, no Rescue's Hydrants, but still, Mechanko Arabesque and Mechanko Collector's Rare. Still really nice cards, as well as, of course, some pearlies. Not big of a fan of strategy myself, but good cards to have nonetheless. Anyway, I hope this kind of content was fun. Um, I did some little bits of editing, like between games, between games, between rounds, that hopefully spiced up a little bit. And um, huge thanks to Victoria for helping with that and helping get all the color parts and everything together. Um, it's really appreciated. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to check out all my stuff below. We've got all the good stuff from Metafy, my Discord, all the good stuff. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video.